The Scrambled States of America by Lori Keller. Hi, I'm New Jersey. I'm not new and I'm not wearing a jersey. Go figure. Hi, I'm a star. A star with a hat. Do you mind? Hi there, I'm Sam. I'm assuming since you opened this book that you're in the mood to hear a story. Well, you're in luck, because I have a story for you. It's a little story about this fine country of ours. I'll bet you just thought you'd heard them all, but not many people know this one. Let me tell it! Oh, oh, let me, let me! Oh no, you two, that part is my job. Now get back in your places, we're about to start the story. Aren't they cute? Let's give them a couple of seconds to get back into position. 1001, 1002, 1003. Okay, turn the page. I could have told it. Well, it was just your basic, ordinary day in the good old U.S. of A. States all over the country were waking up, having their first cups of coffee, reading the morning paper, and enjoying the beautiful sunrise. Wake up, sleepyheads! Time to get up! Good morning, good morning! Muffin? Wow! Homemade! A sale! Say when, keep it coming. Tennis, anyone? Sure. Beautiful sunrise, sure is. All the states that is, except for Kansas. He was not feeling happy at all. How do I know this? Because he said, I'm not feeling happy at all. What's wrong? His best friend, Nebraska, kindly asked him. Nebraska is a very kind state. Want an acorn? I love them. <laughs> I don't know, Mount Kansas. I just feel bored. All day long we just sit here in the middle of the country. We never go anywhere, we never do anything, and we never meet any new states. Hmm, said Nebraska. Don't get me wrong, Nebraska. You're the best friend a state could have. Don't you ever want more? Don't you ever want to see what else is out there? Yes, yes I do, Nebraska said excitedly. And now that you mention it, I'm sick and tired of hearing North Dakota and South Dakota bicker all the time. Me too. I have a great idea, exclaimed Kansas. Wow, this mile is 285 miles wide. Let's have a party and invite all the other states. You know, we'll get to know you feel. Everyone can bring a favorite dish. We can have music and dancing. That's a great idea, shrieked Nebraska. I wish I thought of it myself. So, with a little help from their neighbors, Missouri and Iowa, those wacky little Midwestern states planned the biggest party ever. They sent out invitations and blew up balloons. They even hired a band to play. Yuck! Hey, uh, how do you spell Connecticut? What type of music do you play? Uh-huh. Oh yes, I love accordions! At last, the big day came. Little by little, the states arrived at the party. Nebraska and Kansas were on the welcoming committee, Iowa was in charge of coats, and Missouri and Illinois passed out name tags for each state to wear. Nice coat, thanks. Oh, I just saw yours. Yum, yam. I love beef. 
Well, I am just blowing my diet. Allow me. Thank you. Have you tried the Alabama peanut bars? Yes, they're divine. This is the third time I've dropped my fork. Pilot high and deep. Wow, those southwestern states can really dance. Within minutes after their arrival, the states began making friends with each other. They spent hours talking, laughing, dancing, and singing. Nevada and Mississippi fell in love. It was long into the evening when Idaho and Virginia got up on the stage. Excuse me, Idaho said politely. Idaho is a very polite state. Sorry to interrupt, but Virginia and I were just talking and we thought it might be fun if she and I switched places. You know, so we could see a new part of the country. Yes, Virginia chimed in. Then we thought maybe all of you might want to try it too. What do you think? done this years ago. I feel giddy. Makes me want to dance. Hip hip hooray! Woohoo! Cool. Groovy, baby. They could hardly wait. Immediately, the safe made their plans to switch places. They said their goodbyes and went directly home to pack. Just go south. Just go north. Pleasure to give you a ride, Washington, D.C. Are you okay in there, Mr. President? I am out of here! It took the better part of the next morning for the states to move to their new spot, and finally they were settled in. All of the states were much happier now that they were by their new neighbors and in a new part of the country. Oh, yes, this was a much better arrangement. Now I can catch up on my reading. Aloha world. Hey, we're all blue. And we have sparkling white teeth. Am I too heavy? Not at all. Gum? Sure. You're a great dancer. Thanks. Wanna sing a song? Sure. You have minty fresh breath. So do you. I know how to tap dance. Really? What's your favorite kind of ice cream? Corn flavored. That party was fun. Sure was. Wanna hear a joke? Sure. I love the water. I like to cook. I like to eat. Hello, bug. Hello, steak. I like the ice cake? Yes. I like scary movies. Me too. Your islands are so cute. Thanks. You look good here. How pretty. Um, where did Michigan go? What's going on? Oh dear. But after a couple of days had passed, and all the excitement had died down, the states began to realize they weren't as happy as they thought. Florida, who had switched spots with Minnesota, was freezing in the frosty northern climate. And Minnesota, who forgot to buy sunscreen, got an awful sunburn. A big hug will make your sunburn feel better. Youch! Achoo! Thanks, pal! Alabama, New York, and Indiana, all of whom took California's place, 
were bothered by an annoying rumbling sound that kept them up all night. Want some cheese? Ew! Get away! I'm lactose intolerant! Well, excuse me! Why did I switch with Washington? Arizona, who had traded places with South Carolina, was upset because the ocean waves was kept ruining her hairdo. Oh, good. Soggy corn. Hey, potato head, scratch my back, will ya? Nevada and Mississippi fell in love, so nothing bothered them. Do you want to become Mississippi? I do! Alaska, who had been wanting a little more interaction with the other states, was irritated by Oklahoma's handle jabbing into his left side and Michigan's thumb tickling his right. Kitchy kitchy goo! Ouch! Watch it! And worst of all, Kansas, who had switched places with Hawaii because he was sick of being stuck in the middle of the country, was now stuck in the middle of nowhere, feeling lonesome and seasick. It's so sad! And Hawaii was longing for some peace and quiet like in the good old days. Yeehaw! Well, there was no question in any state's mind about what to do. Everyone wanted to go home. So, even faster than they made the first trip, they packed up their things and hit the road. My name is Illinois, and I need one airline ticket to, uh, well, Illinois. Mm -hmm. No, yes, it's silent. Want a ride? Sure. Hey, Connecticut. Taxi, yoo-hoo. California, here I come. He's not a singer. Not at all. I'll never love another. You're the only for me. After sunset across the country, all of the states from A to W were back in their very own home. They were so happy to see their old friends again. They spent the entire evening sharing their new experiences with each other, the good and the bad. I brought you some cheese. I brought you some corn from Iowa. It's a little soggy. Salt water does nothing for the hair. I saw the Statue of Liberty. Oh my! I had a snowball fight with Alaska. Sounds like fun. Let's not argue anymore. It's a deal. I almost got eaten by a shark. Oh dear. Alaska told the funniest joke. Let's hear one. Everyone around me was blue. Really? Have you lost weight? A little through the middle. Tongue burns hurt. Sounds dreadful. This is a classic. I knew you'd like it. The ground was shaking. Hey, it isn't so. Hawaiian pineapple. Nevada and Mississippi fell in love. That's sweet. The earth moved. I won this for you in Las Vegas. Thanks. I miss you. I miss you too. I saw Mexico. Cool. It's good to be home. Yeah. I brought you some peaches from Georgia. I can stretch out again. Aloha! No more hoedowns! That night, all the states in the country went to bed feeling happy about the new friends they had made, but, most of all, feeling very thankful to be home.
Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Florida, Georgia, 